The more you use things, the more likely they are to need a little repair every now and then. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a hole in a pillow. So this pillow has a hole along one of the seams here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to turn this whole thing wrong side out and sew up the opening. Now, if you have a pillow that does not have a access point, like this pillow has a little zipper on the back and you can open it or close it to get to the stuffing. A lot of pillows will have some sort of zipper or fabric that overlaps so that you can take the fabric off. But if your pillow doesn't have that feature, I am gonna link to some tutorials right here that show you how to repair a hole using a hidden or invisible stitch. It's a super simple job. You can definitely do it. But in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to fix this tear um, by turning it wrong side out. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the stuffing out of the cover or if there is another pillow inside the cover, you're gonna wanna take that out. So I am gonna just pull all this stuffing out and I'm gonna set it to the side. And then we are gonna turn this wrong side out. Okay, that is a whole lot of stuffing. I'm just gonna push it out of the way here. And now we are left with our empty and very floppy pillow cover. So the next step is to turn the whole thing wrong side out. So through the opening, we can use the zipper Obviously we could also use the hole because it's quite large, but let's say you had a smaller opening or smaller tear. Just gently turn the fabric wrong side out through the zipper or the folded fabric. I also have a tutorial on my channel for how to sew your own pillow cover. So I'm gonna to link to that too in case you want to make yourself a new one in your own favorite fabric. Okay, so the pillow cover is now wrong side out, and now I need to find the hole in the seam. And it is right here. And this is super simple to do. We are gonna go to the machine and we're just gonna sew over this rip. Now I do wanna point out that we wanna do our best to match up the old seam um, at the machine to match up both sides on the fabric. If your fabric is fraying, you're gonna wanna move things around and sew on a part of the fabric that is still sturdy, that's still gonna hold up. So this fabric, it's just the thread that wore out or got snagged or whatever. So the fabric is actually fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin the fabric so that it's laying flat so that I can see my original, the original seam from this pillow and I can kind of follow it. So there's a little bit of a crease in the fabric where the original seam was and I'm just gonna do my best to follow that. I love this color. This is not actually my pillow. This is my friend's pillow. And I'm fixing it for her because I like fixing things. Okay, so we have a few pins here. And now I'm gonna move the camera so that you can watch me sew. Okay, now I'm over at my sewing machine and um, I have a darker thread in my machine just so that it's a little bit easier for you to see the work that I'm doing. And I've got this opening pinned and I wanna start the new seam on top of the original seam that's still intact. So. I've pinned where the hole starts, but I actually wanna start my seam further over. And we're gonna get this under the presser foot. And I'm gonna do a little back stitch. 
And then I'm just gonna sew straight down. And I am taking my time because I wanna try to do this in a nice straight line. And I'm trying to follow that original crease. All right, I am coming up to the end. This is such a speedy repair job. Okay, I've reached the end of the tear and actually I've gone past it a bit. And I'm gonna go past it a little bit more. And now I'm gonna do a back stitch and be done. Okay, so now you can see the new seam that I did. I should mention that now is an excellent time to look around the pillow seam and make sure there isn't any other spot that needs any reinforcement. And assuming that the rest of the seam looks sturdy, we're almost done fixing this mustard yellow pillow. So I'm just reaching my hand into the zipper and I am pulling the fabric back through the opening and I'm trying to do it fairly gently. And I'm gonna get this whole thing turned around, birthing the pillow, as one might say. And another thing to look out for is if your pillow has any little tassels or things hanging off of it, you wanna make sure those are not gonna get caught in your repair job. So you wanna just pin those out of the way, pin them to the side, or just peek in between your layers and make sure they're out of the way. Okay, so now our pillow is ready to be reflated through the zipper. One little handful of stuffing at a time. All right, once the pillow is restuffed, you're gonna wanna take a minute and just move the stuffing around to make sure that the pillow isn't too lumpy or lumpy in the wrong way. Once it feels like the stuffing is pretty well distributed, pillow is finished. So just close up the zipper or the opening. This one actually had the zipper tucked in a very convenient, or not convenient, but hidden way. Just sort of pushed in there. There we go. And now this pillow is ready for the sofa or the bed or wherever my friend has this pillow. I don't quite know where she keeps it. I'll have to ask her. Also, if you have other things in your home or life that need to be repaired, I'm linking to a playlist right here that walks you through several other projects. So check it out.